some dog and I are out in the morning hunt. Just had a few fallow deer down below me, but they've already gone back into the thick stuff. So I think I was going to have a fox whistle. I really wanted to get some, some fallow deer meat, but they've already gone back in the bush. And instead of going over to the back end of the property, I might just have a fox whistle first and see if we can get some foxes out because there's a few cubs getting around. So we'll see what happens anyway. Rem's found herself a quail. This always happens out in this property. <laughs> Loves it. That was pretty cool. I don't ever see Samba down along that creek and I was just walking along and seeing Rem looking at something and I was sort of expecting to see a fallow deer but anyway it was an alert Samba behind and there was a calf there with it probably about 20 or 30 metres just down below me and I could not get a clear shot so I don't know whether you could see on the camera there it was in a bit of scrub and I just couldn't get a clear shot so it ended up honking a few times and running off so but anyway i'm gonna go have a look at the other end of the property see if there's some fallow deer out in the flats but it's a bit quiet and they are some lucky ass deer they're on the neighbor's side of the fence <laughs> That's just gone on the other side of the fence as well. So it's been like five minutes and I'm looking for more deer. I can't find any. The one that I was watching earlier that was on the right side of the fence is just standing on the wrong side of the fence now. When it was on this side of the fence it was trotting along and wouldn't stand still for me. And now it's just saying, F you. <laughs> Ow. On another trout fishing mission, I've got mum and dad here with me and I just got a decent sized little brown trout then on the Celta. Unfortunately wasn't video on it but yeah I'm trying to get mum and dad a trout each with the plastics so we'll see how we go. Good cast ram here. Got one. <laughs> there you go, Mum. Oh. <laughs> you a bit sleepy, Rem, eh? You a bit sleepy. Well, we're out for the Arvo. So it's been a quiet morning, got up at 3.30 this morning, went to a different property to this one, looking for fallow deer, and I saw a couple but had no luck. Then I whistled a few gullies, trying to get some foxes, had no luck. Then I went trout fishing with the folks. I managed to get two trout, which I got a little bit of footage of, and I think that's why Remdog is very exhausted. And I'm starting to feel pretty rat shit myself. <laughs> but we're out again this Arvo, 
and I've got a few fallow deer down in front of me. I'm just sort of on my lookout point, so I'm just looking into a few different gullies. It's bloody hot, so I'm just sitting in the shade of the car at the moment, just glassing and yeah, see if we can find something we want to get after. But everything at the moment's too far away, so I'm just sort of keeping my options open. Then if I find something that I want to get down and get in closer to, I've got that option. So we'll see how it pans out. Ridge is about a K away. That's where I needed to be. Look at them all. Does and yearlings everywhere. Anyway, we'll see how we go in the morning. I'm about to go hit the swag because I'm bloody tired and it's nearly dark. So we'll see you in the morning. I just found this deer for me. Good girl. Good dog. <laughs> Good girl. Saved me a heap of time. It's actually pretty thick up in this place. Good girl. Oh. Well, that was a bloody mission just to try and get a fallow deer. They are so cagey at the moment. I don't know whether there's been other people out here shooting or what, but far out. As soon as I got within that like five, six hundred meter range, just spooked something chronic. That one I shot at 450, but it was slowly making its getaway, so pretty cagey. But anyway, we got it done. Got the trail cameras out. I had a bit of a bush stalk, but I didn't really film anything because I just wanted to get the trail cameras out, not worry about filming anything, get them out, and then try and get a fellow deer or two. So we've got one was there we can't get another one on the way out. Looking at the footage, I thought that shot might have been a smidgen far back, but this deer hasn't run very far. It's run downhill maybe like 50, 60 metres. But yeah, straight into this sort of thick stuff, which would have been a nightmare to find without REM. Straight under the track down there. <laughs> 